Do you have any suggestions for dealing with, say, third-party services that may not be quite as accessible in their markup? As yeah. an example, I recently use this MailChimp for yep. our email newsletter, uh -huh. which every time our newsletter author tells me there's a problem with it and as we look at the HTML for it, I end up banging my head in. Yeah, this. exactly. A lot of auto-generated stuff, a lot of messy JavaScript getting inserted in, et cetera. So, table-based layout still. A lot of that has to do with the fact that they're going over email, and email client support for CSS is notoriously bad. Um, the issue with that is mainly that, unfortunately, there are some approaches of doing it. They're highly hackish, if you will. Because what you'd have to do is write some JavaScript to go in and basically edit the DOM afterwards, essentially, right? Adding in that accessibility information along the way. Um, the other thing that you can do there is to um, basically take the output. So would this be like in an email or would this be like in a, on a web page? Uh, it sends out an email, but there's a web page. There's a web page that gets linked to. So you have a little bit more control over the web page, right? Because you could, like, with CSS, fix up some things, just overriding their styles. And then with some JavaScript, again, essentially just overriding some of the things that they, that they do. But if you don't have access to that source, it's a tough problem. It's a really, really tough problem. There are a couple of tools out there that will do template-based solutions. They'll actually take that output and reformat it on the fly. But basically, they do that so that they can charge you every time that content changes so that they can reformat it again for you. So the real trick is to try to work with MailChimp to try to get their stuff to be accessible and you know properly designed. And it turns out that they actually really listen to you when it's part of the purchasing requirements. So one of the things we did at NC State, for example, was any purchase over 5,000 bucks has to be accessible. And all of a sudden, vendors started playing a lot more ball. OK, thank you. Yeah. Any other questions or comments?